Awards in 2014. He is currently working in NXT UK under the name Ed Hardy, not to be confused with... Or Ed with, Harvey. Yeah, he, he's under the name Ed Harvey, not to be confused with the name Ed Hardy. Yeah, I, so they already <laughs> have a pro wrestler who's named Dexter Loomis, who used to be Samuel Shaw. <laughs> now they have a Shaw Samuels. And so, yes, they don't name him that, which would be confusing. But now they name him Ed Harvey. <laughs> it's got to be a ripoff of Ed Hardy, the artist, I, I, I would assume. Not, none of those are his real name. Um, His real name, let me look it up. I, <laughs> I don't the have most it important right part isn't even in the article. I know, it's horrible. <laughs> no, but his real name is Shaheen Hassanpour from London, England. But he's Shaheen Hassanpour, and it's like, I don't know. So to me, the first time, awesome Shaheen. That's good. Right. The first time I seen, like, I was just scrolling through and I seen something about Shaw Samuels, I thought they changed Dexter Loomis's name to Shaw Samuels. Because <laughs> Dexter, Dexter Loomis started out as Samuel Shaw. That was his name. And I was like, oh, they named him Shaw Samuels? That's stupid. Well, then I found out that that was another wrestler. Well, then I found out that wasn't his real name. And I was like, well... Whatever, he's some European guy. He probably didn't plan it. Then he ends up getting signed by WWE. Then they don't name him any of them fucking names. Then they name him Ed Harvey. <laughs> There's no way that can't be a fucking... Uh, fuck it. You know that his intro music is going to have Ed Hardy style artwork, right? right. Yeah, definitely. Ed Hardy isn't fucking uh, Indian, right? Hopefully he signed a short-term contract, because I don't think he wants to stick around. I don't think it's fucking happening, buddy. <laughs> I don't get oh, it. Oh, man, and then he goes to the main roster, and they shave Ed off, so then he's just Harvey. And then you got Harvey and Riddle. And then you're getting sued by DC Comics. It's not good. <laughs> it's not fucking good. <laughs> You know what is good? Hot What's sauce. That, Tracy Williams has re-signed with Ring of Honor. That is good. Yes. A member of the foundation, along with Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champion Jay Lethal. Ring of Honor Pure and World Tag Team Champion Jonathan Gresham. And Rhett Titus. Williams Rhett recently <laughs> participated <laughs> in this year's Ring of Honor Pure Tournament. Williams defeated Russ Taylor in the first round and Fred Yehe in the second Jay Lethal in the semis, and then he lost to Gresham in the finals. Hot damn. Hot sauce. Ooh, I got some hot sauce from Christmas. It's one of those sampler packs, but then one of them is ghost chili. Did I did I show you the hot sauce that my son Phantom got? I don't believe so. I'm gonna send it to you after after uh, we record. You'll love it. Yeah. Um, I, I can't stand the name Rust Taylor. <laughs> no. I don't know why he's yeah, named. Just go by Rusty, right? Just add the Y. I mean, his real name is Russell, so it should be Russ. Yeah. And he's yeah, gone. Yeah, then Russ Taylor, you still get Rust in it, you know? Why yeah. Not? I Well, why do you want Rust in it? Why the <laughs> fuck do you ever want Rust in it? <laughs> never a good thing pasty he's got some ring rust yeah but that's not a good thing is it it, it protects him like armor no 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 <laughs> we're not protecting anything it makes you vulnerable it's like it's like rusty steel plating <sighs> it's like roman reigns bulletproof vest you want to know pasty you want to know somebody who has fucking it all without rust Sumi Sakai, and she has re-signed with Ring of Honor after first making appearances for the company way back, Pasty, in their inaugural year of 2002. God, back in the good old days. Take me back, back Fat Mac. Yeah, back when we enjoyed wrestling. Sakai was the inaugural Ring of Honor Women's Champion. 
now renamed the ROH Women's World Championship. You know, fucking semantics. And she defeated Kelly Klein to get that in the finals in April of 2018. Sky's most recent match with the promotion was last February in a loss to Pasty's favorite Session Moth Martina. Yes, yes. Pasty can't get enough of her. Can't get enough. You love her, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's to the point I can't remember the last time I seen her. I, I can't believe you went through a whole fucking year without ever seeing her. <laughs> like, you literally have to only watch fucking AEW and WWE to only see her. Is is she like is she like Danny Hodge's wife or something? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of wrestling fan doesn't know who Danny Hodge is? <laughs> We did the the cut fister double knuckle shuffle. <laughs> Remember Without the him, cut there would be no John Cena. Shuffle. Exactly. He made John Cena. He birthed John Cena during a main event match. It was against Fabulous Mula and Jesus Christ. And oh, John Cena's whole career, he was trying to aspire to that one move. The crotch knuckle, and he didn't achieve it until he learned his sixth move of doom, <laughs> that short punch. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I don't know who the fuck people are, Fat Mac. The worst part is sometimes I know who the fuck they are. I just can't remember. Ooh, I know. I was going to say, you know who they are, and you're just like, you don't remember until after we're done recording, and you're like, I know who the fuck that was. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> Talking about uh, well, the, the, the last Ring of Honor, or no, no, NWA Women's Champion. What was her name? Serena Deeb? Yeah, Serena Deeb. Oh, yeah, and I didn't yeah, realize yeah. that that was Serena from <laughs> fucking... <laughs> That blew my Straight mind. Edge you society. So when they showed me her, I'm like, oh my God, it is the same one. I just shit all over her the other week. That oh really my God. Surprised I me called that... her a yoga instructor. Yeah. I, and that surprised She drinks me. too much for that. <laughs> <laughs> she could never be a yoga instructor. <laughs> that was. And you were like, oh my God, I just found out today that Serena Deeb is Serena from the Straight Edge Society. Like, no shit. <laughs> that was fucking crazy, huh? Wait, you're telling me Hulk Hogan is Mr. America? Oh my God! <laughs> you're going to tell me is Mick Foley is Dude Love? <laughs> crazy shit. Oh, Pacey, now that we've built a fucking uh, castle around all this. Oh, I'll take this one, my buddy. I'm so excited. And I just Woo! can't hide it. You he know, needs- I don't care where he goes. I think he's good. He's uh, a AW. I oh, I hope so. I fucking hope so. God, of I course, want Of course, we're I'm talking. I'm going to match with him. <laughs> Sorry, I'll shut up. Dalton Castle is currently a free agent. Dalton signed with Ring of Honor in 2013 and won the Ring of Honor Championships and our hearts in 2017 with a victory over current AEW EVP Cody Rhodes. He is now technically free to sign and appear for any company he wishes. It appears Ring of Honor has offered Castle a new deal and it's said to be good. Castle is considering the offer but wants to see what else is out there. Dalton most recently appeared as part of Ring of Honor TV this past December when he defeated Ring of Honor newcomer Brian Johnson. Well, that's what you get for having a fucking name like that. Jesus Christ. I'm never going to know who that guy is either. He could be Ring of Honor world champion 20 times, and I... uh, Who the fuck is that guy? Sorry. That's that's as fucking generic as Steve Austin, you dumb fucker. (laughs) Could be anybody. Steve Austin wouldn't have been shit without Stone Cold. Just saying. Um, You wouldn't have been anything without fucking stunning Steve. So let's call him Crying Lion Brian Johnson. Yeah, we don't like him. Yeah, I don't know. But I like Dalton Castle. 
And, uh, you know, even if he goes to NXT, I would definitely be interested to see him working with uh, 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 Fandango and, and Tyler Breeze. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would. They, they could be his new boys, you know? I, I legit... And then they could even make their way back to the main roster at that point. That'd be a stable, like, fucking, ooh. To us, it would be. I don't know how Vince feels about that, but yes, 100. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I literally just want to see him either stay with ROH or go to AEW. Like, those are almost, to me, the only two options I want to see him take. Yeah. I mean, I, okay, okay. That Selfishly, those are the only two I want to see him take. Whatever supports his family and, and takes care of him is what I want to see him take. But yeah. selfishly, I only want to see him in AEW or ROH. I don't, you know, I honestly don't think he'd get over in uh, Impact that well either. I think they've got too big of a main event, and I don't think he's, uh, I think he's too big for a mid card. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would love him in AEW. I think he'd do great in WWE. I, I think he might actually be utilized well just for the kind of character he portrays. You're going to have some dicey times when it comes to Vince because. Because he likes those guys, and then he doesn't like those guys. But, uh, God, I don't know. For, Dalton Castle, to me, is even a higher commodity now because my brain likes to pair things like uh, Sum 41 and Blink-182 up, and I'm going to compare those two my whole life because they're words and numbers, and they came out about the same time, you know? So uh, they never sold any records. Yeah, so for me, it was always Dalton Castle and Joey Ryan. And now Joey Ryan's off the board. So Dalton Ryan. Castle's fucking money is, oh, you know, stocks are high. I mean, I want to see whatever is positive for him to happen, but yeah, I I don't think he will work good in WWE, but obviously you and I... Um, Dalton just... Castle versus AJ Styles, WrestleMania main event. Yeah, yeah. As a as a wrestling fan, yes. As a WWE uh, producer, no, I don't see. It. That's just me. No, I, uh, I get what you're saying too. Yeah, and somebody who uh, will never make it to WWE at all, ever. Not even the next T like jobber. AJ Kirsch revealed that he's no longer with MLW Major Who the fuck's that guy? He's the guy that will never make it to WWE or even like um, NXT or uh, anything. The announcement was followed by his appearance on this week's AEW Dark, but he will never <clears throat> appear in WWE or uh, NXT really at all. But on AEW Dark, he appeared as his character, Brosif Joe Brody. He shared that as of January 1st, 2021, he has not been under contract with MLW. Hottest agent in the fucking business, baby! <laughs> he also thanked Court Bauer and Rich uh, Boschini for being so welcoming I call him Rick Bikini, because that's exactly how oh, you could say I, that. I picture him in a bikini. Yeah, Rich that Bikini. I didn't realize it, it, it was similar. <laughs> I always pictured him in a bikini. <laughs> Chris had been part of MLW's broadcast team since early uh, 2019 when he uh, gave an interview saying... Um, He doesn't think he would belong in any wrestling company. Ever. 